Welcome back to Switch to Linux. We just have a very brief video here off camera. Uh, we are uh, in a town where I don't have enough internet to stream tonight, so I thought I'd get this brief video up. Uh, just saying I did upgrade my system up to Linux Mint, um, uh, up to Linux Mint uh, 21.3. It was flawless. Of course, there's um, these literally these new applications just showed up in the time I'm recording the intro from when I recorded the rest of the video. Go figure. So there we are. We have a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of new updates just rolled out right immediately. Uh, <laughs> I promise they weren't there a minute ago. You'll actually see that. <laughs> uh, but we did upgrade flawlessly to Linux Mint 21.3. And uh, the only issue that we found is a version of GIMP no longer works, but that's actually not re relevant to 21.3. That apparently came in 21.2, but I don't use GIMP much on this computer, so I didn't realize it until I was trying to build a thumbnail for uh, this channel um, uh, yesterday. So I investigated it and uh, we'll talk here about the issue with GIMP and what we can do about that. So over here on the computer, and this is my production laptop that I always roll up to the latest versions. Uh, so there is the flat pack update, of course, because they've been pushing these out like Arch lately. Kind of annoying, but I'm not worried about a flat pack. Uh, when you get the first update, you'll see an option under the edit menu that you need to, or that an upgrade to 21.3 is available. It is flawless. It took my system five minutes to actually do. And you can see here I'm on Linux Mint 21.3. I'm on uh, the Cinnamon version 604. And I do have Wayland as an option on this computer. So I do have that as an option. Obviously, I'm not running Wayland right now. And the system did push me up to the 6.5 kernel. I still have the 6.2 available and I still have a 6.15 installed and available as well. Although I'll probably take that one out and clear it out uh, just so that the boot drive doesn't get, uh, the boot sector pardon, doesn't get uh, completely full again. Uh, so there is a major problem with GIMP and it seems to be a common issue. And uh, so this person asked, this is actually a year ago. This is not 21.3 per se. This is if you got an update anywhere, even in the 21.2 series. So prior to the updates, I did check my update history and I was running GIMP 2.10.18. That is the previous version that was on my system. And then after updates, because I really only update my system every, uh, every few months or so. And so uh, I thought I had upgraded it since February. In fact, our, our bugs and issues with the SSD happened after that, I thought. Maybe that happened in January. I don't know, right before. But uh, I hadn't noticed any issues with GIMP not working right. But then what happened is I brought over a new, um, a new thumbnail template that I'm using for this year as, as a test. And... Oftentimes, I get some unpredictable results over here. And so, let's see. This is some text. So, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, this is apparently a common thing. So, if I want to change my text over here, clicking this, I should have an, an eyedropper here uh, to edit the text. And I don't. I just have the option to start a new text box. So other people are complaining about this issue as well. Some people have suggested if you delete the config and the, the cache files and then reinstall GIMP, that might solve the problem. So uh, I've actually cleared out the cache files since I've been having the issues. I've not actually tried reinstalling it. So let's do sudo apt install and then you flag reinstall uh, the application you're using and this will do it now I'm on a really slow internet connection so this may take a while to install I don't know it might work it might not uh, but it's actually going to download and reinstall it without any configurations or cache files hopefully that works maybe it will maybe it won't but you can see a first article going back to February on this we have a gnome issue uh, which was created 10 months ago, which puts us right around that time frame, March, so just after that. And the problem is with GIMP 2.10.30. And guess what? 
2.10.30 is the exact version that Linux Mint ships with. So what they say is what should be done is um, Linux Mint should update to 2.10.34. Of course, this is an Ubuntu package. So this is depending on Ubuntu updating it. And uh, that'll happen right around the time pigs start flying because of snap packages. And this is the big problem that Ubuntu is doing, pushing snap packages because they are holding back a lot of other software that might otherwise be used. But let's go ahead and pull up GIMP and let's see if that one person's random suggestion actually worked reinstalling the application after deleting the configuration files. Let's just go ahead for the, the sake of fun. Let's give it a quick test here. This is some text and uh, this is completely untested. So I have no idea if this is going to work or not. So we'll just see what happens. All right, click, click, and I still don't have it. And this is where other people are saying that the problem is actually with Linux Mint uh, or um, GIMP 2.10.30. Let me just prove to you again that's what Linux Mint is running. 2.10.30. This one has a known error with some of the tools, which I didn't notice because I hadn't updated my system for a while. Actually, I think I haven't noticed because I don't usually build my thumbnails on this computer. I, I've been recording the videos and editing them on this one computer with the latest version of Caden Live, but I've been transporting them over to the other computer for the thumbnails. So just be aware of that. Um, obviously, if you do need GIMP to work and this is not a viable solution, you always have the flat pack option with GIMP. So you can actually go into the software center and you can install the flat pack version of GIMP instead of the repository version. And then you will then get the latest version, which I think is still 2.10.34. Um, why does why did that not boot up? I thought I hit that software center. Um, but uh, that is really the only major issue that I'm seeing. This guy over here uh, address. This is this is an older article, though. 21.10 saying there was an issue. So let's go ahead and look for GIMP again. I don't know if my slow Internet connection is going to get in the way here. Uh, we have a lot of GIMP over here. Here's the flat hub version over here and flat hub version. Okay, there's actually a new version from this. 2.10.36 is available. So if you are dependent on GIMP on your workflow and you are running Linux Mint, you might want to use the flat pack at least until they backport the uh, current version which is uh, has this problem with it. Of course, that comes from Ubuntu, so go figure. So other than that, though, I've not noticed any major issues. It did update my system around my PPAs. Of course, I have uh, PPAs in here for the new version of OBS and the new version of uh, Caden Live. Although I am getting a warning that this uh, PPA is storing the keys in the old um, depreciated method, but I have not otherwise noticed any issues. In fact, I thought the update wasn't going to work because I got an error on the upgrade path to 21.3. Uh, but it went ahead and proceeded to upgrade itself anyway, and it actually upgraded right around it, which was a pleasant surprise because you used to have to disable any of your PPAs, restore the software versions back to their old versions, and then re-update your system, re-enable the PPAs, and then reinstall the new versions. That apparently is no longer a necessity in this version. So there is my quick look at Linux Mint upgrade to 21.3. It worked absolutely flawless. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.